Hey, this is Jim with Diesel Geek, and today we're going to show you how to replace your cabin side bushings um, on an O2O, tra sorry, O2A transmission. This is from 1989 to 1999. Um, the bushings are right here, and there's a detailed video on this with the mechanism outside of the car uh, that's available on this product page, so you can look at that for further reference. So, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to access the shifter and we have to access the shifter by loosening up the center console. This is the rear section of the center console and, this, and then the front section is up here. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to take these little plastic trim covers off these holes in the back section and then underneath these holes are Phillips head screws. And you just take those Phillips head screws out on left and right, both sides, and then the center, the rear section can be lifted up and then, and then brought back like that. So that's, that's the rear section, that's all you have to do. And so for the front section, there's a nut, and the nut is a six millimeter nut right here, and it's held by one, it's held right here, there's a stud that comes out of the body of the car right down here, and you just uh, take this six millimeter, or 10 millimeter nut off of that stud. So once you've done that, you wanna take the, um, the shift knob out so you just unthread the shift knob until it's unthreaded and then you can either just pull the boot off of this this section right here and then just reach in and pop this up um, if you're good you can do it without taking the boot off but I'm not that good I guess so now we have the shifter um, we also want to take the cup holder out. The cup holder has an aperture that it makes it nice to, to, to work on this if that's open. So this you just push forward and then up and then there's a hook up in there and that just goes, you just lift up on the cup holder and then the cup holder comes out. So now we've gotten these done and there are two studs right here. These studs also have the plastic nuts. So you just get a 10 millimeter socket and you take these uh, 10 millimeter nuts off of, the, off of the studs. So once you've done those things, then the center console will come up like this. This is really all you need in order to, to pull the shifter out of the tunnel. I haven't needed to take it completely out of the car. Um, you can if you want, but I, I don't. So the first thing that you're gonna do is there's, there's a pivot pin. In order to get the shifter out, we have to remove the pivot pin. The pivot pin is a 12 millimeter axle that goes through the whole thing and then comes out here. So to do that, you wanna just get a 13 millimeter box in and um, loosen the screw that holds the pivot pin on. And when these have never been messed with, they're really, really tight. So anyway, you take this out and there are three screws that we're gonna be removing and they all kind of look like this. This is the shortest one. You wanna make sure and keep this one separated from these two because this one's shorter and it has to be short in order not to hit the pivoting shifter. And so that's, that's key. So keep this one separated. So I'm gonna keep this one on the driver's side and um, then the pivot pin can, can start to be slid out, but you don't wanna do that yet. You want to remove the, um, the two eight millimeter screws that hold down the inner mechanism of the shifter. Um, you want to do that so that the whole thing can pivot around and you can get the pivot pin out. So um, they have 13 millimeter heads, so you want to get a 13 millimeter socket and just loosen those screws. They're also, if they've never been messed with, they're really, really tight. Just gonna put that out there right now. So you just take those two eight millimeters out and then um, you have a lip. There's an aperture in the sheet metal tunnel, the center tunnel, that has a lip that comes up. This lip keeps the pin from being able to slide out. So what I've done here is I've taken my Dremel tool, which is right here with the cutoff wheel, and, I, and I've cut a window in this, in this lip. And that window lets me get the pin out of this aluminum housing. Um, on some Passats, the lip is really short and you can just hit it with uh, a, a punch or a chisel and knock it down. Um, Corrados also have a lip like this and you just cut a window in this um, 
and once the window's in there, then you can get the pin out. But the, getting the pin out is critical to servicing this without having to drop the whole thing out the bottom of the box. So I'm going to um, show you now getting the pin out. So once everything is loose, you have a lot of angle, you know, you have a lot of leeway to get the pin out. And the head of the pin went through the window that I just cut. So we're just going to slide the pin out until you can remove it and you just put it back in there. So once you've done that, then the shift mechanism comes out. And so now we want to get the steel bracket off of here to access. There's one more clip down here that we have to get off to get this out. So the first thing you want to do is take this clip right here off and you just, there's a center piece right here and you just lift the center piece off the little um, pin right here and then it slides off. You throw it in there and then you can tilt the shifter this way and then get the, the welded bracket off and you just stick that up in here. So then the very last thing in order to get this out is to, um, you actually don't have to get this out. Um, to service the welded bracket, the two bushings that you need to service, it's all right here. So you don't have to get this out, but if you've al already, if you've also bought my cable in bushings, the only way to service the, that bushing is right here. Um, the bushing uh, is held on, the, the, the cable, the shift cable is held on with a little Mickey Mouse cotter pin looking thing. And um, you can you can just push the pin like this. You just push the head of the pin like this, um, and then it comes out. And then you can use a pick or a magnet to um, extract the Mickey Mouse pin. You can see it right there. And uh, once you've done that, then the shift cable comes off, and there you go. And then you can you can service this bushing right here. Um, the side to side bushing is on this side a little further down, so this one will, will be really difficult to service without dropping the box. So anyway, <clears throat> so that's it for the shifter. And um, you can see here that this this is a 98 Jetta TDI, but um, that the, the the ball is gone. I mean the plastic piece that goes on the ball it is it is also a ball and it, it's just gone it's it's flaked out you can see pieces of it down in the hole in this groove um, but anyway we're gonna go ahead and replace these bushings just like in the other video and that is pretty much the lowdown on how to do this job for the cabin side bushings